Hello nature boys and girls. This is Lady Flora. Just wanted to encourage everybody watching these videos to get outside and look around them and enjoy all the little microcosms of nature that surround us that sometimes just go unnoticed. There's so much to see and if you just stop and look around, I think you'll be surprised by how exciting nature really is and how much there is that's just going on all around us. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about pine needles today. Um, I don't know if you know, but you can make you can make pine uh, pineapple. You can make pine needle pine needle tea, um, which is something I've never actually done before, but. Uh, but apparently pine needles have a lot of vitamin C in them, um, even more than oranges. So it seems like this would be something good to drink if you feel like you're getting a cold. Um, pine trees are really, really common in Florida. They're everywhere. This is either a longleaf pine or a scrub pine. Um, I'm not sure, but I, I got that information from... Uh, from my trusty Audubon Society Field Guide to Florida. Sand pine slash pine or longleaf pine. So yeah, of course, we're all pretty familiar with the pine cone and uh, pine cones are used for lots of crafts and you find them everywhere and you step on them, and, but they're pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, pine needles are pretty great. I actually learned how to braid with pine needles when I was growing up, because sometimes you can find a little cluster of pine needles that's just about three needles, so it's a really great way to learn how to braid. Um, and also sometimes, you know, you can just chew on the end a little bit. Kind of piney, tastes kind of piney. But yeah, pine needles are really cool. And uh, sometimes in the summer when it's really, really hot out, there's sort of a fragrant smell that comes off of the pine trees that's really cool. Um, so yeah, they're fun. Uh, it's fun to peel the bark off of the pine trees. That's what I used to do when I was little. But, anyways, um, it's 37 degrees out. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> really really cold my fingers are freezing it's definitely glove weather and I'm not wearing gloves but uh, but yeah I know a lot of people across the country are much much colder than I am right now um, so I don't want to sound like I'm complaining it's really fun in Florida to have cold weather because in the summer it gets so hot uh, we just really really miss the cold weather so yeah if you're if you're in freezing temperatures or below freezing temperatures try to stay warm, drink some hot tea, maybe drink some pine needle tea, and uh, try to stay warm, and I hope that if you can't go outside, maybe you could just look out the window and appreciate something, um, something out your window. So, yeah, I know CQ is in Connecticut, where it's very cold, I'm sure you've got lots of snow, I can tell from your videos you've got tons of snow. Um, it's not snowing here, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, sometimes it feels like it might. So, if you're in Florida, I think you're supposed to cover up your plants tonight, or maybe that was last night, but um, yeah, there's, I think there's gonna be a freeze warning or something, so. Stay warm, and it's a beautiful day, and I hope you get to go outside and have a sublime day. And if you like these videos, um, try to bring you content, personal content about nature and about how I view nature and just about the beauty that's all around us and uh, my interpretation of all these beautiful things that we get to see every day. So if you're into that, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.